And uh, good morning, sir. Um, uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Uh, yes, Zabella good morning. Droga. Your uh, listen. The last I didn't expect to see you here today. The last that you uh, we heard from you is you were found. You were found guilty. Yeah, that's uh, in cor- court. Correct. Yeah. And so now I guess it doesn't matter if you come on the radio. Uh, I I would imagine so. Yeah. Um, what is I, the recorder I, that you have there? Well, um, there's a um, um, there's a clip here. Uh, I don't know if I have the opportunity to play it, but uh, mirrors the uh, situation I find myself in. Uh, I believe uh, it's a, a from a. Uh, can I can I review the the story or um, and mind if I review the story? You were uh, arrested. This was when? When were you arrested first? It would have been July of 2014. Okay, so two years ago. Right. Uh, arrested in the disappearance of your mother, uh, who was found without any, almost no clothing, they say, and uh, in the cold and uh, had been out there all on her own. And, and it was believed that you put her there and you left her there. And uh, the, the court just found you, uh, a jury, it was it a jury trial, uh, just found you guilty of that. Um, you know, it's it's questionable what the jury actually was um, was looking at or uh, what exactly I've been found guilty of. Uh, in fact, I was throughout this, uh, uh, you know, this entire proceeding, I had asked the judge several times to clarify what the charges were. Yeah. And as it, um, uh, uh, you know, as it unfolded, even before trial, the arresting officer, uh, a Burgess, uh, Officer Burgess out of the Oneida City Police Department, admitted, um, and actually this was during trial, later on during trial, that the information and complaint that he originally used to arrest me, this is a sworn uh, statement by yeah, him, yeah. Uh, uh, could not have been true. It was incorrect. He, he did not himself right. believe that my mother had been in the woods for three days. Okay. Uh, and really but didn't. But the jury ended up believing that, though. And so, but you were charged, Manaski, you were there. It, it's not clear what the jury w- was. Uh, well, he's going to tell you what the, yeah. what the jury well, well, it, it, found it you was, guilty of. It was of. two misdemeanor counts, I believe. Right. This is the thing. <laughs> these are was, misdemeanors. These aren't. You're probably not going to do any. I wouldn't imagine. What, does he do any jail time for this? I would be surprised. I, although I'm not an expert, they, on they this. had actually I just, jailed never me heard initially of a, on this. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah. it was under actually uh, suspicious circumstances. The the initial uh, jailing, I was held. But the charges uh, were the 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 the, uh, the convictions were falsely reporting and endangering the welfare. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I'd say you're you you're found guilty. You've gone through. It's over unless you're planning to appeal, which would cost a lot of money. But but it seems that these are misdemeanors and. You're not going to be facing that much of a penalty. Why do you keep poking the bear? Well, the issue here was never, uh, uh, you know, concern about penalty. I, I've always said this issue is about um, getting my mother released from okay. confinement right yeah. now. Uh, this really was an issue involving her. I was just a, a, uh, a means to uh, have her put away. You know, she's uh, currently under... Um, um, uh, confinement at a nursing home. Uh, uh, her her health has apparently um, rapidly deteriorated. Well, the, and the, all of my concern yeah. was for my mother. Yeah, here, I understand that. Not really anything that I'm facing. Yeah. Um, what is on the uh, What is on the tape? Well, there was a um, a, a call in legal show. It's a, a national show. Uh, there was a caller who called in with almost uh, the identical. Uh, situation I find myself in. His mother was, um, uh, it's a, a, a very short clip. Okay, uh, right, we'll just play it. Minutes. Oh, it's a couple of minutes. That's, uh, yeah, just a in few my world, minutes. that's long. But um, he, uh, he had called in, uh, and I believe it was from California, to say that uh, uh, under identical circumstances, his mother, he had brought his mother uh, for some minor uh, dehydration issue to a hospital. The mother was... Um, was um, involuntarily held at the okay. hospital, and that set set off a uh, whole chain of events. So your that, belief, uh, though, that so so your belief is yeah. that you have been falsely accused, mm-hmm. and everyone is portraying you to be out to be a quack, and you're really not. Mm-hmm. That um, everybody else that this is a giant conspiracy against you, and in fact, 
you should still be with your mother. That's what you want everybody to believe, right? Yes, exactly. Uh, okay. This, uh, I, you know, I believe was uh, the arrest itself, the conviction, it, you know, was orchestrated to, um, uh, you know, sustain the uh, confiscation of my mother's property, which okay. uh, would have been a side. But isn't point. your family members, your siblings, and they're, they're the ones that have, uh, that have the rights to the property now? No. No. No, they were given... Um, for their assistance and and okay. uh, um, you know in this matter, they apparently were given you know various rights to stay on the property. Okay. The right. property now is in the hands of um, a, a guardian uh, who's an attorney out of All Rome. Right. Uh, so uh, both my mother's property, personal property, and real estate uh, has been confiscated essentially. Okay, so what what uh, uh, this is my last question because I don't know that we're going to learn anything more here today. My last question would be, wh- what do you want to accomplish by coming here today? Well, I'd like to, people to know that how this uh, conviction was carried out, that um, the uh, trial took place, uh, uh, even though it was uh, well known that the arresting officer d- didn't really believe the charges himself. Yeah. Uh, also, there was... Um, I thought the judge was very fair with you, though. I mean, the, the tape that was... The tape that actually was submitted by the prosecution right. came from this radio show, and uh, if yeah, I that was cur- one of the pieces of evidence, it, yes, right. The, but the, the 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 audio from this show right. was submitted as evidence, right. and on there, one of the things I had asked you is, did you take your mother into the woods and leave her? Hmm. And your answer to that was not no. It was what was the answer? It Something was, to the effect. It was of, in um, fact no. I do recall that. Uh, I, I don't think so. I, I don't think you said no. I think, I think you said that's all circumstantial evidence. It's not the evidence. That was does your not answer. Prove that. And you said the, the evidence does not prove that, as opposed to saying no. And I think they wanted that to be admitted. So, so, and that people can go find that right on our website. It's it's right there. Well, so, but, yeah. The but, conclusion of that interview, uh, you had asked me, "Is there any chances that any okay, of this I could be true?" And I, I had Cor- emphatically correct. stated, "Okay." It, it, no, but when I first no, asked you the chances, when my, I, my actual words. when I first asked you the question, you really evaded the answer and gave us kind of a technical answer. That just might be you. That might be the way you react. It, it was to it was probably in response to a legal. It was like okay, a legal response. Right. But my my point is though that the judge dismissed that and would not well, allow and that. Then as, I believe it was resubmitted later. Oh, it and was. Taken, yes. Oh, so they did put it back in. Right. I don't think the jury. Uh, this jury. Um, uh, actually made a point not to consider the evidence. Okay, they asked right. uh, for some testimony of a police officer would be read back, and they stopped it short of where he uh, he actually perjured himself. Okay. Uh, you know, it was that type of thing. Uh, right. I, I don't think this jury, uh, you know, was really a serious jury. Uh, and it was it was uh, expected. I had, well, I'm going to give you, I'll give yeah. you one minute. One yeah. minute to tell the people. Right. What you want them to know. And I, I'm going to hold right. you true to one minute. Right. Okay. Well, I'd, I'd like people to know that uh, you can actually be uh, just uh, yanked off the street and tried uh, in a case like this on circumstantial evidence where there's really no uh, evidence of any type or solid evidence. And, uh, you know, we saw this with the, uh, the uh, uh, recent case, I, I believe it was Hughes here. There was a murder case. Was it Hughes? I don't remember. Uh, which individual uh, who was uh, um, imprisoned for 20 years, convicted, and then uh, released. And uh, he was given a, a number of um, lectures, uh, yeah, one of which I Hughes, attended. No, uh, yeah. And I Stephen asked him. Barnes. Stephen Barnes. Barnes. Yeah, sorry, yeah. it was Barnes. I uh, asked him, uh, what evidence did they have against you? Uh, and, uh, you know, how could you be convicted, uh, you know, and then later, uh, you know, found yeah. not guilty? Uh, you know, he said there was no evidence. So it, it was basically, in his case, a very similar situation, circumstantial evidence. And also people have to right. consider that uh, there was a— Can I have one more question? Uh, yeah. Everybody's got questions yeah. now. I'm sure. I must this say, is... though, and this goes back to what I said earlier about— the person who is, and I'm not saying any, but you are not Tom Cruise. You don't look like Tom Cruise. You kind of look like uh, the guy from, um, uh, what's his name? The, the Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. I, I, you took the picture there in the 70s. What was the show that he was in last year, Andrew? True Detective. Oh, True, True Detective. Detective, yeah. Yeah, you're kind of like a little bit a little bit like that. And I think that people are saying, well, he's crazy, and don't believe him. He's just making all this stuff up. And is it possible that that could be? The case, I guess, it is possible, right? I mean, there have been there are movies that have been made about this. Did your, well, mother, did no, your mother testify? No, they they actually. My mother has been uh, held, um, uh, you know, in seclusion. Uh, you know, that's another aspect to this case. Uh, you yeah. know, she was okay. n- never made present. Uh, did and, you get to see her at trial? 
No, I okay. haven't seen my mother in almost two years now. Okay. Don't they? Don't they? If they usually find you guilty, will but, allow um, you to talk. You know, people have to understand that uh, there are a number of people now being convicted under similar circumstances. Okay. Uh, there was a case in 1996. Uh, it was the governor's report on state police corruption, where there were uh, uh, multiple convictions uh, in the Ithaca area where uh, later P- uh, state police admitted that they were planting evidence on these individuals. My impression is that each and every one of these individuals okay. was, was convicted. And you feel that later you Later found are, absolutely okay. innocent right. by the, the uh, arresting okay. officer's own uh, testimony. Got it. Christina is the final question after all. So did they, have they proven whether or not your mother's testimony was reliable? Oh, that was proven false. It, it, each and every piece of evidence in this case was actually proven false. Uh, the, the witnesses... Also, were proven to be, uh, you know, actually, uh, it, it involved perjury, uh, and this was each and every so you're witness, alleging including that all of the witnesses perjured themselves. Uh, that's on the record. Right. It's actually part of the record now. That will be part of the appeal. There will yeah. definitely okay. be appeal in this. I, I would expect, uh, you know, that uh, the conviction would be overturned. All right. I'm sure so we're... you're going to, you are going to appeal. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Um, Stephen is on the line right now. Stephen, go ahead. You're on the radio, and um, uh, and in studio right now is Tom Zavella Droga. Hey, Bill, yeah, I've been uh, following on your website to tell a story. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Now, I know something or two about uh, police planting evidence. All right. Yeah. Say goodbye, Stephen Avery. But I didn't do it very much. And uh, Say goodbye. Did. Say goodbye. Right, goodbye. Goodbye. <clears throat> Sorry about that, Tom. Okay. Um, all right. Well, let's but, see. But, uh, yeah, there is a, this issue, your... uh, you know, it goes yeah. back to, to the 1996 uh, governor's report on uh, state police corruption. That was the start of it. But uh, people right. weren't aware of the extent of what was going on at that what time. What was the movie where the guy was had to be running and he was running and the, and the authorities were coming after him? And you, the uh, uh, Matt fugitive? Damon, uh, maybe it was fugitive was or born, born, Jason Born, Born, Jason oh, born oh, right? I mean, that was the thing where they thought he they'd convinced everybody that he'd done Matthew something. Matthew McConaughey and now then and now Matt and Damon. Now Matt I'm Damon. making movie star comparisons to you, Tom. Here, it's a stretch. Yeah, it is. It might be a stretch. A little bit. Okay. All right, Thomas. Good luck out there, and uh, keep us posted on the uh, on the on the appeal. But you still have a sentencing coming up. Yeah, actually, the appeal of my understanding uh, cannot be launched until the, uh, after the sentencing. sentencing. That would okay. be the conclusion right. of this case. This is a lot of yep. work to go through, though, for a misdemeanor. I mean, for, I understand you want to clear your time, name, yeah. and you've already served time. The, the I, case should have been dismissed know, uh, within weeks of, of the arrest. Sometimes and, and that's though, the question, issue, though, why it wasn't. I, uh, I will say the issue is the property here. The, yeah. the Got it. Going forward. Okay, so anyway. all right. Yeah, there's uh, uh, many hundreds of thousands of dollars of property involved gonna, here. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Are okay. no longer in our possession. All right. All right there, Tom. So you, uh, good luck out there, okay? Okay, thank you. All right. We'll uh, break. And come back and wrap this uh, puppy up for a uh, Tuesday morning. Coming back at WIBX.